How do you edit uniform chart of accounts codes in Excel? First, open an existing pipe delimited text file. And make sure you know where it's saved on your computer. Now, open up Microsoft Excel. Select Blank Workbook, then select File, Open, and then Browse. We'll now find that original text file. Our file is saved in this folder. But when we open this folder, Excel can't find the file. This is because our text file's name ends in .txt. Right now, this window is only displaying Excel files. To correct this, simply click the drop-down menu and select All Files. Now I can see my file. So I'll select it and click Open. This starts the Text Import Wizard. Ensure this says Delimited, Start Import Row at 1, and My Data Has Headers is unchecked, which should be the default. Then click Next. My Delimiter is not a tab, it's actually an other. The character will be a pipe. You can find this character above the Enter key on your keyboard. Now click Next. And I can ignore this page and just click Finish. Now my file is open. You can see that this data corresponds with the original text file we opened originally. To edit a UCA code in our file, scroll to the very end. Sometimes if you have additional codes, you may have to extend this column here by double-clicking. Now to edit an individual account, select this cell here. For this example, we'll edit the account code to track CARES Act funding. We'll change the second character of the function code, which is here. We'll change this to have a lowercase a after it. This will demarcate that these are in fact COVID-19 funds being accounted for. We can edit as many account codes as needed here. We'll do a few more here. What if we needed to split an account because half of the expenditures were CARES Act eligible and half weren't? First, insert a new blank line, right-click on the line number, then select Insert. Now I'll select everything in this row. We'll hit Ctrl-C to copy it. Then we'll go into the new row and hit Ctrl V to paste. Now we'll fix the row numbering since every row needs to have a unique number. Select the first few row numbers, then go to the lower right hand corner and double click. Excel is smart enough to renumber every row for you. Now let's edit the new account we created. For this account, we'll imagine that half of the funds were COVID-19 eligible and half were not. So we'll simply divide this amount by two. Now for the eligible amount, we'll simply edit the account code with that lowercase a. Now, how do you export your file so it can be ready to be uploaded? Now that we've made all our changes, we can't simply save this as an Excel file. This is because Excel doesn't have a pipe delimiter as a standard export option. We'll have to create a macro to automatically complete this task for us. To access my macros, I'll first click View, then I'll click where it says Macros here. I haven't set up any macros yet, so I'll need to make some. First, click into the Macro Name box. 
I'll call my macro export. Notice how the create button is now available. We'll click create and this will take us to the visual basic window. This side menu over here can be a bit overwhelming, so just ignore it. Instead, focus on this window. Anything we want the macro to run needs to be between the sub-export line and the end sub-line. Now we simply need to copy our macro into this space. We've already created the macro for you. You can copy the macro listed in the guide published on the Local Government Resource Center, or simply copy it from the video description below this video. Going past all the steps we've already completed, it looks like our macro is right here on this page. Now highlight the macro and hit Ctrl C. Now in our Visual Basic window, we'll hit Ctrl V to paste it in. Now we just need to confirm that the macro is exporting to the correct file path and file name. So we'll first delete this. Now we'll go back to that original File Explorer window where we're saving our file. Now we'll simply click in the file path and Ctrl C to copy it. This is where we want to save our new exported file. Your file path will be different. Now we'll paste the file path here. That tells the macro which folder to save the file in, but we still need a file name. I'll name ours examplefixed.txt. Whatever name you use for your file name, make sure that the .txt is at the end. Our macro is now ready to be run. Now return to your Excel file. Click View Macros. We now see our newly created macro. We now have some options on the side, and we'll click Run. And we see that our macro is already finished. Select OK, and now let's check to make sure the macro functioned correctly. We'll open our tutorial folder, and now we see that the macro created the example fixed file. And now when we open the file, we see that all the rows are pipe delimited, and it looks like there are no unusual looking rows as well. And we can also see our account code changes. This file is now ready to be uploaded to the state reporting system.